All right, southeastern New Mexico here. Thought I'd just uh, tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a family man, God-fearing man, and uh, anyhow, I went to work uh, at a local cell barn here a couple years ago, and met some new people and uh, there's a guy that works at this cell barn and he's cowboyed all over this into southeastern New Mexico and a lot of different places as you hear him tell different stories but uh, he's pretty punchy uh, always got something to say but anyhow he took notice of my apparel and uh, he come up to me one day and said he'd been on Facebook and had come across a, a video I'd put on there. Uh, it was a bronc ride that had took place. I'd taken a five-year-old uh, blue roan mare to, to break. You know, they had already tried to start her, but she's a little rough around the edges. But anyhow, she... She, I got on her and she just fell apart. But uh, that that video, you know, got way up there in views and everything else. So as he was scrolling through YouTube, he he found that video. And anyways, he commenced to picking on me. Him and a buddy of his worked here at the time, and uh, said, "You know, we didn't know you was famous." Said uh, anybody that's famous needs a nickname. So. Uh, Immediately, they just looked at me and said, you know, I think we're going to call you Buck Stitch. And that was the, <laughs> that was the name for quite the while. You know, I was still earning my keep around here. And I'm not going to say I've achieved that yet because, shoot, you'd be old fella and now still say you're trying to make, make a cowboy, you know. But they ain't going to give you no credit. But anyhow, uh... The reason why they call me Buck Stitch is because I put, I use a Buck Stitch on pretty much anything and everything. Um, I had an old hat that was falling apart and I didn't have the money to go buy a new one. And so I was trying to figure out how in the world to, to get the brim to stay together. And so I had some uh, saddle strings and I held them up to that hat and got to looking at it and... Uh, one of my kiddos told me, you know, that looks pretty cool, Dad. And uh, so I sewed it on that hat, and I've been doing it ever since. And so here, uh, here's a, an example of that. You know, uh, that's just saddle string. And uh, I like to repurpose things. So these old ropes I, I wear out. You know, most every cowboy around will pull an old rope apart and make pig and strings and stuff out of it. And these newer ropes have nylon string in the middle of them. So I use that string and I use it on everything. Uh, it's really handy. But um, anyhow, here's here's another example. This is a, this is a straw. And uh, I didn't know how good it was going to go on there as I was sewing it on there but you know it went on pretty good and what well, makes it makes for uh, a good time whenever the winds are blowing you can keep it on your head pretty good and it's got just a little more weight to it and your hat don't blow off near as easy and uh, so here's another example here's my here's my old shaps um, uh, they weren't quite long enough they were homemade and i had traded for them and so i had to extend the, the end here on both sides and so all them buck stitches are in that deal of course you could probably tell odell brigsby if i said his name right which i bet that, that uh you ain't a super puncher unless you got an old pair of shaps that's got pretty much every brand 
uh, of all the fellers that you went and helped brand their calves and stuff. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, quite a few of them on there, but had them a while. And you know, you repurpose things. Uh, be still, Jake. Um, I got a kennel bag here that I repurposed uh, out of boot tops. Of course, a lot of people have bags that they made out of boot tops, but uh, I've never seen one like this. Um, that video I was talking about, I was wearing these boots, so uh, it's kind of cool to, to be using them. I wore the soles out in the bottom and I had them resold two or three times and they finally got so old that I couldn't get them fixed no more. So I uh, cut them up and sewed this thing together. And I got all my goodies in here that I think any cowboy would need. That's full of shoe and nails. And uh, see if I can get some of this stuff out of here easily. Set of clinchers, doing hammer. Uh, here's an old set of shoes. I had them taped. It's about time to retape them. Uh, when I reached out, old Jake here, I pulled his shoes off, and of course, them are thin and everything. But I cleaned them all back up and made sure they're good and flat. And if I lose one, uh, and I can't find the one I lost, all I got to do is just tack one of those back on. And this is a little idea I like to do. I've had stuff roped and tied down and you're trying to find them. I put flagging tape on a bush or a post or something. So I got that. Um, that was a deal for some more nails there. Here's another deal I think every cowboy ought to have. That right there is a roll of tie wire. You just buy your new roll and you just duct tape it all over more than anywhere else. <laughs> and then you cut the end out and of course I have it set up where I can pull it through these holes. I don't even got to take it out. I can just pull it out and uh, cut what I need off and I carry Leatherman with me everywhere and uh, have a couple extra clamps, maybe fix a water leak. But anyway, I was just uh, wanting to explain a little bit about myself. Of course, I ain't no professional uh, video taper or, or any of that. This is this is as authentic as it can be. Um, so, thought I'd share. Hmm.